This is Mr. Evil Cheese, and I'm going to review the exclusive Walking Dead Rick Grimes that I got at Walgreens. So you can see it says that is exclusive Rick Grimes, and it is Series 4 because there's the rest of Series 4 on the back there. And here he is, and he's basically what I thought he was, which is the Series 1 Rick's head on the Series 2 of Rick's body. And it's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I noticed right away is here's the original Series 1 Rick head. I don't know how well you can tell, but the paint job on the original one is way better than this one. It just doesn't seem as nice. I don't know. It's, they got kind of sloppy or something. Half ass this one. Some. And uh, here's the body for Series 2. And also the paint on it is a little better than, you know, this new exclusive Rick so I don't know what the deal is with that all of the accessories that he comes with also came with the series 2 Rick he's got this little thing to wrap around the zombies necks and choke them and shit he's got the alternate hands to hold that thing and to hold his rifle and here's the rifle so he's already had all this stuff and then his gun so basically this is just the same old Rick from Series 1 Series 2 pieced together. Now you could do that yourself if you want, if you have both of them. However, it's not as easy as just switching the heads. Now this one's a little more easy. You can put Series 2 Rick's head onto Series 1 Rick's body and it looks pretty good. It's a little bit loose, however. The problem with this though is uh, putting the Series 1 head onto Series 2 Rick's body. Like the skin color is a little different, but the problem is the ball joints are different in the two Ricks. And this one's a little too too big to fit into these holes to uh, switch them right. So you have to do some modifications to make that work. And I never actually did. I switched that head onto there, but I never really attached this one yet. So I'm kind of glad they came out with this, so I don't have to do it now. But I'm probably going to put this head on this body take the ball joint out of there because I think these ones just paint jobs is better on the on the other series. This exclusive paint job just kinda sucks man. But yeah I basically went over this figure in uh, the review for this one. Same exact thing basically just a different head and shittier paint. So it's not a whole lot to say about it but it's kinda cool that they did an exclusive and it's also kinda cool that it's not really part of the main main series since he's just an exclusive because they already had enough Ricks but I was kind of annoyed that you either had him in his, in his police uniform or you had him in these clothes with a hat on and that bugged me so now you got Rick more like how he usually looks so that's cool and like I said I just I don't I don't like the paint job on this the face is just weird the way they painted it it just doesn't look right and uh yeah, other than that, it's, it's still cool getting it. So, I would say if you want a Rick with, you know, this body and this head, go ahead and go to Walgreens or wherever you can find it, eBay, and pick one up. Even though they made enough Ricks, I would like another Rick. One with maybe, like, the button-up shirt that he's been wearing in Season 3 or something like that. But they don't have one of that yet. So, guess this is as good as you can get right now. So... Pick them up, and uh, there's Mr. Cheese. Thanks for watching. It's a short video, but yeah, I basically went over this dude already. There's nothing much else to say about him. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Click on one of them there pictures there to see the other review for it, okay? And maybe you could also subscribe, Nate.